graphite miners on the ASX are up 67% for the month and 240% for the year. We see that graphite is coupled in with lithium ion batteries and the mass adoption of electric vehicles. Japan, China, US, UK and the rest of Europe are increasing their targets of dropping internal combustion engines, ice, diesel engines and the like and looking to adopt more hybrid and specifically electric vehicles. The graphite miners on the ASX that have been leading the way start off with Magnus Energy Tech coming in at number 6, just shy of 15% for the month. Now the company has raised $34 million at 28 cents and also one for one unlisted options exercisable at 50 cents expiring 24 months out. The company does have projects for their New York lithium ion battery plant and the Australian lithium ion battery plant as well. Their significant news over the last month has been equipment purchase, so they're reducing the overall capital expenditure and fast tracking production at the New York battery plant. Specifically, the machinery acquired from lithium ion cell manufacturer A123 Systems is being relocated from Michigan to Huron campus. The ability to produce 20 and 50 amp hour cells to cover all major markets for lithium ion batteries is tied in with this equipment. So the first production is set to, to be on track for late 2021 so we will keep across this company and look for those updates and hopefully some more lift in the share price number five is archer materials axe up 15.6 percent for the month now the company has announced updates with regards to their south australian project Campuna, being the Campuna graphite project and it's now fully permitted. Approval of the program for environmental protection and rehabilitation being PEPR for the Campuna graphite project was announced. So it's a significant step towards production and better positions Archer for partnerships and co-development with partners and players and participants in that lithium ion battery supply chain. The work is described for a bulk sample of up to 60 tonnes to be collected and for the sample to be processed off site which includes into graphite and graphene materials. The collection of the bulk graphite samples will allow Archer to pursue downstream opportunities within that lithium ion battery manufacturers and end users Number four is Eurograph Limited, EGR, up 35% for the month. It's been a very strong news for the company with news flow. We have seen late in January, WA Battery Graphite facility advanced to development. They had their quarterly activities and cash flow report and then had outstanding results achieved from major EV and manufacturer, European trading and US listing for Eurograph announcements and an investor presentation and business update that was for capital raising. So out of that capital raising, I did see that 54.5 million dollar institutional placement that attracted some cornerstone investors and a number of significant institutional investors that can possibly be tapped for further capital raising should they need in future. It positions Eurograph to complete the construction and commissioning of the commercial operations in its first facility that's in WA, Western Australia. And that's based on the initial production capacity of 5,000 tonnes per annum and hoping to expand that out to 20,000 tonnes of battery graphite for the lithium ion battery market. Planned to cater to the expected growth in demand from the Asian region and existing investment in battery manufacturing taking place across the whole Southeast Asian region, as well as looking for development in Europe and their requirements. Now, along with that substantial growth in Asia, their investment is currently underway in Europe to establish a self-sufficient and sustainable battery manufacturing supply chain to support that European electric vehicle demand that we're consistently looking at as a driving force behind this thematic. Number three was Hammer Metals HMX, 36.2%. The company had found in their Toby project some small parts of graphite previously, but mostly the focus is on copper and gold exploration. If there is more graphite found, it could be an upside for the company, but that concentration is definitely on copper and gold. Now we move into number two, Renescore Resources, RNU, that we did see as a leader in the last month's update on the graphite shares that you can see in the description below if you want to see what last month's leaders look like. Nonetheless, Renescore RNU is up 37% for the month. Now the company has had, again, a lot of news well done to them. Quarterly activities report from the December quarter, then they had an investor presentation at the start of February. First stage offtake qualification in the early first two 
two weeks of February, South Australian government grants reduced royalty rate at Survivor, and then eco-friendly graphite purification technology update on the 22nd. These advanced mineral processing trials are being undertaken by leading German independent battery mineral consultancy group. The results follow a five-year of mineral processing tests by Renescor that have led Renescor to adopt a proven technique that avoids the use of hydrofluoric HF acid to create an environmentally friendly and cost-effective method for purification of Renescor's Survivor Natural Flake Graphite for the use in lithium-ion battery anodes. Critically, Renescor's HF-free purification technique has already been used to produce purified spherical graphite PSG from Survivor graphite concentrates that exceeds anode industry quality specifications, including having achieved first stage qualification with two world-class anode company off-takers that account for up to two-thirds of Renescore's stage one production. Renescore does intend to use the HF-free purification technology to create a competitive advantage in the production of high-quality PSG with leading environmental, social and governance ESG credentials in the first integrated in-country mine and battery anode material operation outside of China. Number one for the month is Black Earth Minerals, BEM, 67% over the month. Again, significant news flow over this month. They've had quarterly activities report at the end of January, trading halt the start of February to announce a memoration of understanding signed with US leading downstream graphite producer. That MOU is signed with Eurobix, a US-based company leading the development of electric vehicle-related graphite products. Black Earth will fast-track the development of its Madagascan project sites and source other high-grade graphite concentrate to supply at Urbex downstream processing facilities in the USA. Once again, these leading companies are connected with the EV theme pushed by Joe Biden that we have looked at before in that grand push for more electric vehicles use battery, electric vehicle battery manufacturing in the US and supply chains in the US. Another key announcement was that they had signed, Black Earth had signed, graphite supply and marketing agreement with world leading German based graphite supply grain group, now Luxa Carbon. Now the agreement is signed between those world leaders. They're currently one of Germany's major suppliers of graphite and carbon products to top tier suppliers, Volkswagen, Mercedes, Ford and other chemical operations. Later in the month, Black Earth were on the investor presentation front, wearing out the shoe leather and presenting at broker briefings and webinars for project funding discussions. But later in the month, they had announced that their stage two large scale pilot test program had commenced for a three month, 60 to 70 ton large scale pilot meteorological test program on its Maneri graphite project material. The results of the program will be used as part of the company's current DFS to finalize all processing related parameters. Graphite concentrated produced will be used to finalize binding offtake and downstream agreements. The successful completion of the program will assist Black Earth to fast track that project funding and the commencement of plant construction. Test work results to further confirm the world class status of the Marini graphite project. That's what investors are hoping for. That's what's showing in the share price, and that's where the best performance has come from. Moving over to the annual performances, we see that Black Earth Minerals is coming in sixth, up 123% for the year. Magnus Energy Tech, 135. Archer, 171%. Hammer Materials, 188. Renaschool Resources, RNU, 191%. And Ecograph Limited, EGR is a ticker, 243% over the last 12 months. For the latest companies leading the ASX, market insights on the strongest themes and top companies, click subscribe here to keep up to date.